interfaces are still a bit of a problem. People are still a little bit confused, especially on when to use them and how to use them. So basically what I have here is a simple application um, that we are going to inspect and refactor into something that utilizes interfaces so you know exactly when to use them in your path of becoming a Golang engineer. All right, but before we start, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, guys, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up and leave some questions in the comments, jump into the Discord community, check out my courses about Golang if you really wanna become professionally active as an engineer. Thank you very much. All right, so what is this application? It's a very simple mock application where we're gonna create an account and uh, we, we have a simple API, right? We have this uh, Golang serve mux, we have the post slash account, and we have a handler, uh, which basically is going to create an account. How are we gonna do this? Very simple. Um, we're gonna post a username and an email, nothing too fancy. We're gonna decode this into an account structure. Uh, probably here, you're gonna do some logic to create the account database stuff. It doesn't really matter, right? It doesn't really matter. And after that, we are going to notify that the account is created. Well, this is a very common practice. I use this all the time where a user does something and then you're going to maybe you're going to notify the user. You're going to notify other users. You're going to notify an admin over email, SMS, Slack, Discord, whatever. Some kind of a notification system that's going to be triggered after a certain action in your application. Right? And then we're basically just going to um, return the account that the user has created. Right? It's a very simple mock Thing. A very important thing to note here is the notify account created has a time sleep of 500 milliseconds. Why? Because it is a, an IO operation, right? You're going to do a GET request, you're going to do an email, an SMS, you're going to use some third party shenanigans, which basically means ah, it's going to take some time, right? 100, 200, 300, one second. Uh, we do not know how long it takes, so we mock this right here, right? And if we test this, basically, let me see if it's running. It is. Uh, we're going to send this. Boom. It's going to use the name GG, email, Anthony, GG, blah, blah, blah. All simple. And then we're going to see that it's being locked. This is the notification system, which is just a lock for now. So if we take a look at this code, um, it's very simple. And actually, there is nothing wrong with this code. However... Let's take a look at this notify system here, right? So if we take a look at notify account created, there are some different ways we can notify. In this case, it's just a lock. It's easy peasy. But what if you want to do an email, right? Or what if you want to send an SMS or both? You know what I mean? Or you want to use a Discord handler or something, a Discord hook, or maybe a Telegram uh, hook, or even a Slack hook. You know what I mean? This notify can have multiple implementations right and depending on where we're going to use this uh, we're going to select some kind of an implementation maybe uh, in development or on staging we don't want discord telegram or slack maybe we just want a no op notifier right a no operation notifier just logging something you know what i mean so <clears throat> instead of basically modifying this piece of code here all the time right and maybe you want to say oh Today, we're going to use the email. Next week, we're going to use the Slack because some manager asked us uh, to do so. So you're going to basically change this function all the time, uh, refactor it, comment it out, comment it in. You know, we all have been there. That's not a good approach. So we're going to refactor this to use interfaces because I think this is a very, very, very good use case that is actually simple to grasp for beginners um, and something you, that maybe is going to click, is going to... Uh, snap snap some wire in your brain so you never forget. All right. So the first thing we're going to do if you want to make an, uh, if, if you want to refactor this to an interface is actually create the interface and think about the design, right? So let's go to the top here. We're going to say type, uh, let's call this an account notifier, right? Uh, which is going to be an interface, right? And then we're going to say uh, maybe the function is going to be notify account created. This is the function. The question rather is, what's going to be the signature? But what do we know? Well, we know in Golang, returning an error is always a good use case. Maybe for the no operation notifier, we don't need an error. Right? We're going to just log it out. So we can return null. But it's always good practice to return an error because maybe other implementations, like the email or the SMS notifier, they will interact with third-party shenanigans. So Returning an error is very appropriate to do. So we're going to do this error. That's something we know already. 
And then what we also know is we need an account here, right? Because if we want to notify that an account is created, we want to have the details of this account. So we're going to say the account, but very important, we need to inspect again here is this notify account create a function we have here that we're calling here, right? So it's going to sleep for 500 milliseconds in this case, which basically means that if we're going to interact with uh, third party systems, right? We don't know how long it's going to take. It could take 200 milliseconds, it could take 15 milliseconds, it could take 10 minutes. We don't know, right? What if our email provider is out of, for example, recent? Uh, they, they basically bought their own database lately and you just could not do anything. So if you do not have some kind of a guarding mechanism, I call it, you need to make sure if you build an application, it's, be, it's deterministic in all ways, also in time. And what I mean by that is you can never know how long it's going to take but you can limit the maximum amount it's gonna take, right? For example, okay, if we wanna use the email service, it can take two minutes, and if it takes longer than two minutes, we're gonna cancel this out, right? Because if you're gonna use this in a GoToTeam, and you're not cancel this, yeah, you could have some memory leaks, you know what I mean? You could have some clutter. So, how do we do that? Well, a very good practice, if you design something like this, is to basically say we're gonna use a context, context, right? Boom, just like that. So we have our notify account created function, which has a context and an account and returns an error. I think that's already a very solid thing. So the next thing we need to do is basically, uh, we need to find a way to use this, right? Because we could actually create the notifier here, but that's basically the same problems. We want to have some kind of a quote, quote, dependency injection mechanism. And the people, oh, dependency injection. Something like that, right? I don't call it like this, to be honest, but people understand it. That's why I'm calling it like this, right? So, in able to do that, we need to have, <clears throat> we need to find a way to attach some state on our handler, right? Because this handler here, handle create account, is actually just a function, right? And we want to have state. How do we do that? Well, we're going to change, we're going to make a struct here, we're going to call this an account handler. Uh, which is going to be a structure and that is going to have some state. We're going to say what does it what does it need? It could have multiple things. It could hold your DB. It could hold whatever. In this case, it's going to hold our uh, account notifier, which is an interface, which is the account notifier, just like that. Okay. And then we're going to just attach this uh, function method uh, to this uh, handler, right? The method receiver, as we call this, we're going to say the handler. We're going to make a pointer here, uh, account handler, handle account created, beautiful, right? So instead of basically calling notify account created, this function, we are going to say, actually, we are going to say, um, let's delete this, we are going to say h dot account notifier dot notify account created, right? And what do we need in here? We know it needs a context, so in this case, we're going to say our context here, yes, just like that, and then we need the account which is this beautiful thing we created on top here right this thing here you see hop and uh, that's it right that's the thing we are gonna do so nothing too fancy the next thing we need to do basically is here uh we need to create our handler right we need to create an instance i don't like to call it like that but people coming from other languages they understand call create an instance of it right so we're going to say that the account handler is going to be, uh, let's make a pointer here, is going to be the uh, account handler. And now we need an account notifier, which we don't have yet, right? So I'm going to basically uh, comment this out here. Uh, well, leave it open, doesn't really matter. Let's create the implementation, right? Because account notifier is the interface. Now we need to create the implementation, right? So for example, let's make a type, a simple uh, account notifier, there's going to be a structure here, right? And uh, let's do something like, uh, let's no state, because it's a simple account notifier, we're going to, we're going to do not attach any state to it, but you could imagine you have something like an email notifier of an SMS notifier, you could have some state, for example, an API key or something else or a secret or whatever, right? Um, but we need to, the only thing we need to make sure is that this simple account or file, let's copy this, uh, is going to be func, uh, let's call it, no, let's call it n, whatever, paste this in, simple notifier, and it needs to basically implement this notify account created, so let's do that, notify 
account created we need a ctx which is going to be a context context what's going on here a context context and an account which is going to be this account thingy and also an adder right boom 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 let's return null here because it's a simple account modifier no errors to be handled and let's actually do let's copy this thing actually no let's do it this let's do this as log info uh, new account created let's do account uh, let's username actually to be honest let's do something simple it's going to be uh, account username and then say email is going to be account email something like that very simple right of course if you have an email an, uh, or an sms notifier you're going to do some some other stuff here then you can actually ut utilize the context package to, to do some cancellations uh, i will link a context video in the description right so you 100 percent know how to use that and now we need to basically create here a notifier which could be an, a simple notifier like that and the only thing we need to do is we're going to say that the account handler dot handle uh if we can type here account handler handle create account and that's it right so basically if i clear the things out i'm going to go run main.go just like that and i'm going to post this again you see that it basically just worked right new account created username email uh the exact same thing it's working perfectly fine right so the logic stays the same but a, our application is a little bit more going idiomatic it's a little bit more uh composable is maybe not the, the right word but it's a little bit more dynamic because um instead of basically going to this notify account this can be actually deleted guys right because we don't need this anymore just like that so the only thing we need to do instead of going into our handler right instead of going into our handle create account here and change our logic in here right instead of changing our handler the only thing we need to do is just pass in a new kind of implementation of the account notifier and that will basically completely change the behavior on how we notify right you could use a go function whatever it doesn't really matter it's just an example guys i know already what you're thinking why don't we not use a go function and yeah you can you can but this is just an, an example. Uh, for example, let's say this is a simple account notifier. Let's make whatever we could do. Let's copy this whole shebang here. And we're going to make this. Um, uh, uh, how can we call this? Uh, a better, a better, a better account notifier. I have no fucking clue, guys. Just uh, let's change it, everything up here. Better account notifier and a new account created uh, by the better notifier i don't know i just want to show you notifier right just like that and then the only thing we need to do is basically instead of uh saying that we are using the simple account notifier no we are using the better account notifier right and then if we basically clear the screen go run main.go boom just like that and actually it's in here and we sent now we can see the new account created by the better notifier so that's how easy you, we can swap this right um better for testing it's just better right and of course people are sometimes over engineering with interface they are using them too much in this case i think it's a very 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 good appropriate use case for interfaces and i hope this basically um lighten up a little flame inside your brain but hey uh, so you can actually have a better grasp on when and how and why to use interfaces in Golang. Well, you can also do, do this with some kind of a functions and typed functions and whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but using interfaces, you can attach state to it. Uh, for some implementations, could be very important. Think about API keys, maybe a caching system or whatever, right? Uh, let me know what you think about these videos. If you want to see more of these kind of... Uh, videos where we refactor something into from something good to something a little bit more idiomatic let me know in the comments um, and i'm happy to make more of these thanks for watching and i'm looking forward to see you in my next video or live stream peace out